Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And today, we're looking at Eddie Hearn's statements made to Boxing Social. And without much further ado, let's get into it. Eddie Hearn made some statements to Boxing Social addressing the matter of what will be next for Dillian White and he had some very interesting things to say about the mix at the top of the WBC how things will unfold and Without much further ado, let's hear what he had to say. Let's cut the music. It's a bit with his face, but I don't believe Wilder will fight Ortiz. I think he'll fight Fury next. I think that's what they'll do. And I think the winner will have to fight Dillian White. That's how I see it going. I don't think Wilder now will take the risk of Luis Ortiz, which is... Boom. Get the music back. Get the beats back. Get the beat back. Okay, so, Eddie Hearn said he doesn't think Wilder will take the risk of facing Ortiz next. Next for Wilder, Eddie Hearn believes, will be a rematch with, the, with, with, with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury for Wilder next. Luis Ortiz, he believes, loses out. Wilder won't take the risk of a mocking about. He's going straight to Tyson Fury next. So, effectively, Deontay, Wa or rather, Dillian White. If he gets past Rivas, Oscar Rivas, his next opponent is most likely to be either Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber. That's how it's going to shake out, according to Eddie Hearn. Interesting times. Looks like Luis Ortiz loses out. Looks like Dillian White will be next. He's been waiting for 600 days. 600 days. But now it seems like there's going to be some light at the end of the tunnel for Dillian White. After these two rematch in the latter part of the year, what are we looking at? Where are we now? October, November, five months time, would make it November. I don't think Tyson Fury wants to wait too long. I don't think he wants to wait too long in between fights. He had two cherries, and then Deontay Wilder, and then he took another cherry. Where's that cherry? Where's that cherry? I know it's somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Took that cherry. Two-rounder. Las Vegas. But now, is he ready to get back on the horse for real? Proper? Why not? Fought him to, fought Deontay Wilder to a draw last time. Now is that a cherry? If he built up his confidence, did his confidence need building? Why would his confidence need building? Oh, okay. Maybe his confidence needed building from that. I don't know. Maybe. But if he wanted a confidence builder, wouldn't he have took a, a better opponent? A more competitive opponent? I don't know. I don't know how much of a confidence builder that is to fight a, 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 a total cherry. I really don't know. But 
That's besides the point. It looks like there is light at the end of the tunnel for Dillian White in the WBC stream. The WBO stream, that's looking a little bit murky. Because we got this guy, Usk. Usek, Usek. People are calling him Usk. It's Usek. Get it right? That's the WBC, WBO stream. That's the WBO stream, but we're looking at the WBC stream over here. This looks like the picture. Or is that the picture? Which is the picture? What is it going to be? Is it going to be this picture? Or this picture? What say you? It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the combat radio. It's the hit that bell icon for updates. Notifications. It's the hit the like button for visibility. It's the subscribe. It's the share. It's the Raphael Dawkins. It's the combat radio. And I'm out.